So Nintendo didn't show up to E3 this year, but Nintendo showed up to E3 th this year. Nintendo did not hit the big stage, but they did do a Nintendo Direct. There was a lot of talk and hate on Nintendo for not coming to the show. Nintendo's scared. They're being cowards. They don't want to show off the games. They don't have anything to show off. And let me tell you this. All those people in the world who were talking all that shit were absolutely wrong. Nintendo came out and brought games. They killed it. They had so many good games, exciting games. And uh, they brought out 12 Wii U exclusives, 4 Wii U multiplats, 9 3DS exclusives, and 3 3DS multiplats. That's a big deal. That's a lot of games to squeeze into a short period of time, and Nintendo did it. Now, Nintendo didn't show off any new hardware, but the software alone, these games are plenty of reason for people to be excited. I'm going to go through this list of games. I'm going to let you guys know my favorite ones and hopefully get your thoughts on it in the comment section below. I'm going to start with the, the Wii U exclusives. The, the number one exclusive that I really liked the most was the Super Smash Brothers, of course. I'm very excited about that game. They debuted the new me characters that you create of yourself or people that you know and you can interject them into the game. The game looks great. We all know what Smash Brothers is all about. Super excited about it and that's probably the game I'm more excited about than anything else. Hyrule Warriors made by the Dynasty Warriors team looks to be very promising. At this point it looks, you know, of course it's in the world of Hyrule and you get to play as more characters than Link. It, there's a plethora of, of the Legend of Zelda characters that you can play as in this game and go through the world, you know, dis destroying mobs of enemies, and it looks really fun. The game that kind of took Nintendo's uh, Direct away was The Legend of Zelda. The first Zelda game done in the 3D style that has true open world gameplay. It looks great. The way that the game looks is like a cross between, you know, more of a modern Zelda and cell, sh cell shading. It looks really fun. Uh, Zelda looks really, I mean, Link looks really young, and uh, the game does look very fun. I, I, I need more information on it, but at this point, I'm excited nonetheless to see what they have coming for the Wii U. Star Fox is, is coming out for the Nintendo Wii U. They brought out the big guns. Who doesn't love Star Fox? Do you remember playing it on your Super Nintendo? Do you remember the characters of the game? Star Fox is coming to the Wii U, and if you're a fan of Star Fox at all, a Nintendo fan, this is a must-have game. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse is an exclusive coming to the Wii U. I've never been into Kirby, but I do understand why people like it. I, it kind of came after my crest as a child, and I was moving on to more adult-centric games. Mario Maker is coming to the Wii U. Imagine creating your own Mario worlds, creating your own, you know, two, 2D, 8-bit uh, graphic Mario Worlds and sharing them across the Nintendo Network. Imagine that. It's happening and it's coming soon. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is coming to the Wii U. Splatoon is coming to the Wii U. Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X or 10 is coming to the Wii U. Bayonetta 2, which looks really good. Uh, you can actually dress her up in Link's costume. She can wear a Samus Aran's uh, costume for Metroid. Game looks fast, looks good, and I'm excited to see something like that coming to the Wii U. Devil's Third will be coming to the Wii U. Uh, Alphadia Genesis is coming to the Wii U. Uh, the multiplats coming to the Wii U are Odd World Abe's Odyssey, New and Tasty, Skylanders Trap Team, Pac Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2, which is part 2 of the game that I'm playing right now, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Those are the four multiplats. Now, the 3DS exclusives, which I'm excited about Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth. Power Rangers Super Mega Force, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which is a great game. If you've never played Monster Hunter, please do it. Super Smash Brothers, which I must have. Of course, having Smash Brothers in your pocket, who would not want to do that? Hopefully, the controller translates well. Pokemon Orange Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which is an insane name. Codename Steam will be coming to the 3DS. The Rhythm Final Fantasy, Curtain Calls coming to the 3DS. Harvest Moon, The Lost Odyssey, and A-Train City Simulator. Now, the multi-plats for the 3DS are Skylanders, Trap Team, Pac-Man, The Ghostly Adventures 2, and Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Nintendo brought it this year. They killed it. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about Nintendo. I loved watching the show. I love watching the robot chicken stuff that they did during the opening and during, you know, cut scenes when they did, you know, uh, you know, switches in between the show. They had the robot chicken team doing things. I love watching Reg Reggie uh, fils fighting at the beginning of, of the, uh, of the uh, Nintendo Direct. I think that the energy that they had was really good. They made us feel like, hey, look, this is, this is Nintendo. You know me. And uh, I really enjoyed watching the entire Nintendo Direct. I have to give Nintendo's Direct a 9.4 out of 10. 
Nintendo came out killing it. There was games everywhere, and I enjoyed everything I saw. You guys let me know what you thought about Nintendo's E3 Direct conference. Did you like it? Did you like the games? What are you looking forward to the most? I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.